Hello P3 students, how are you doing? Welcome back to Science Lesson Harapan Prestasi Primary School with me, Ms. Rosa. Today, we are continuing our discussion in Unit 1, Living Things. We are focusing on what kinds of living things are there. So, are you ready? Let's start! To know this topic, you can open your pupils book, page 19 until 25. Now, we'll tell you the learning objective for this topic. So, the students will classify living things and explain why they are classified that way. In this topic, you also learn vocabulary such as animals, plants, fungi, bacteria, flowering plants, and non-flowering plants. Now I have a question. How living things seem? You're right, though they are different. So we know that the living things are plants, animals, humans, but is it only three categories here? Okay, so now I will tell you more. So actually, humans here belong to a group of living things called animals, and trees belong to a group of living things called plants. We classify living things by grouping them based on common features. So, what are they? The first one, animals. The second one, plants. And then the third one, do you know this? Have you ever seen this? Fungi, yes. Have you eaten this one? Yeah, your mom might cook this at home. And then the last one, bacteria. Now, let's discuss one by one. The first one, animals. So here, we will differentiate on three aspects. The first one, the body parts, how they move, and how they eat. Now, look at those pictures. There is fish, bird, and also cow. What do you think? What body parts do they have? Yes, you're right. They have head, arms, wings fins, legs, and tails. And now, how do they move? So, of course, animals can move by themselves. So, they can run, fly, crawl, hop, or swim. Now, how about this? About how do they eat? Yes, they cannot make their own food. So they eat plants or animals, or can be both. Let's move on. Now we are talking about plants. Plants come in different shapes and sizes. There are two types of plants here. The first one, flowering plants, and the second one, non-flowering plants. Both here, actually, they have roots, stems, and leaves. Before the flowering plants, they will have flower and also fruits. But for non-flowering plants, they don't have. Now, how about how do they move? Yes, you're right. They cannot move by themselves, right? So here, plants only can move some parts of their own. And how do they eat? Yeah! Good job! So they can make their own food. Now, let's discuss further about fungi. There are different kinds of fungi. For example, mushrooms, mold is growing on the bread, or gas. So here, fungi may look like a plant, but what is the difference? They don't have roots, leaves, and stems. Now, how do they move? They cannot move by themselves from place to place. And then, now, how about how do they eat? They cannot make their own food. They take in food from trees or dead things. How's far? Is it more interesting? Now, let's talk about the four living things. Bacteria. Bacteria are tiny living things 
we need a microscope to see them. Bacteria can be found in the air, on the land, or in the water. They can even be found on and inside the animals and plants. Bacteria can be long and thin, brown or shaped like coils. So, how do they move? Yes, you're right, they can move by themselves. And here, they can make their own food or take in food from where they live. But do you know, some bacteria are harmful and can make us sick, but some of them can be very useful for our health. This is the example, the Yakult. Yes, this the drain here has bacteria inside, but it's very useful for our health. Now we are in the end of our lesson, so before that, let's recap what you have learned today. Different groups of living things, each with different features. So here you can differentiate on three aspects. Body parts, how do they move, and then how do they eat. So that's all. Thank you for watching my explanation here. See you on the next lesson. Be happy, stay healthy, bye!